Okay, this is the program for a cyclic redundancy check. Now here the data types are declared that is data, div, 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 this is the dividend, this is the divisor and reminder and CRC. This is the data types that we have initialized. Now this three lines is a code and this will be an explanation for this code. So now this is system print out dot print ln enter the number of bits. So enter the total number of bits. We give eight. So data bits integer parse read the line parse the integer and store it in the bits. That is what is the length or amount of bits it stores in an integer. So now data equals new int and data underscore bits. Now we have to initialize an array. Data is an array with of a size 8 bits. So that is what we have given here. So we have initialized with new int data bits. So this creates an array of data with size 8. Now these three lines are the code and this is an explanation for it. System.out.println Enter data bits. For loop less than data bits incremented. So each value each value of the data bits this is a data is an array is having 8 bit long 8 array 8 size of 8 now each bit is added into this data array so the input of data bits is given that is in our example it is 11010111 now till the length of 8 so each bits are added to it data of 0 is 1 data of 1 is 1 0 is 2 1 is 3 0 is 4 1 is 5 1 is 6 and 1 is 7 because it starts from 0 0 to 7 so this is how we have initialized it so let's these three lines are the code and this is an explanation for it so the system dot in enter the uh, print tunnel enter the number of bits in divisor so that means a polynomial so this divisor underscore bits integer pass read line so it reads and stores it into divisor bits so divisor bits is the length of it what is the length of it so i have given four so it, it accepts this four and stores in divisor bits and creates an array of divisor with a size of divisor bits that is four so divisor bits equals four now system dot out dot print and then enter the divisor bits so we need to enter the divisor bits for length of divisor bits every value bits is added into a divisor so it is 1011 so if it is divisor bits is 0 1 is added to it if it is 1 so if it is 1 then 0 is added for this one is added to 2 this one is added to 3 okay there are 4 bits so 4 4 array of size 4 that is the divisor now this is a code so now we need to add data bits plus the divisor bits minus 1 that will be the length of the total length of the bits we will be dividing so that is divided div, div, divisor is the total length and this is the reminder video so all will be calculated the size of the total length that is the highest maximum length that we can have so now total length is 8 plus 4 minus 1 so this is the total length and divisor length is 11 in this example so again the remainder equals new total length remainder is also 11 crc is also 11 so here in this case what we are doing is uh, we are trying to calculate the values and we are going to store it in the reminder itself so now this part is this one two three four five is a code so it is till the length of it get the data and process into divisor now append zeros to it to the length so we have appended zeros to it so now in this code this is the data of i we are trying to put the data of i to divisor and till the length of it that is the 11 so apply 0 1 is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
9, 10 and 11. So it starts from 0, it is 10 here. So now last 3 bits are 0 here. It becomes 0. How it becomes is that we are placing the till the later ends by, by default it will be zeros. Okay, now it will display this is what the length of it. The div divisor div will have this values. So div array will have this value. So that is 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 triple 0. Now so these three lines explains till the length of it then divisor to the remainder. So divided dot length is 11. Now we need to put it all these contents to the remainder. So what remainder is place 1. So divisor is equal to remainder. That means 1 this 1 is placed to 0, 1 is placed to 1, 0 is placed to 2. Like this we place till 10 till the last 0. So we place all the values to the uh, content of it, remainder content. So remainder has the same value and remainder has the same value and the divisor has the same value and the, uh, that is dividend. Divisor has the 1011 1, 1, that is the polynomial that we need to divide. So now this is the function that is being called to for the divide. This function is called. Now, so here, so when we call this function, so int divide divisor div dividend divisor reminder. So while it is true, so we'll uh, we try to do XOR. This symbol represents the XOR. So this is a code for it. So we try to do re reminder divisor XOR. This is a divisor divisor that is the polynomial and this is a reminder and we restore it into a reminder so this is the very interesting part is when we divide and we store it back to the reminder so reminder current equals 0 if it is 0 if the reminder current is 0 then we increment plus plus if it is not 0 we will come out of this while loop so if it is, and current is not equal to reminder dot length minus one that means a last but one length that is current reaches to 10. So if the current if the reminder dot length minus current is less than a divisor length. So if it is if it is it reaches three. Okay, then it will break. So break out of the loop. So return the reminder. So let's look at this code step by step. Now this is the code we have divisor, this is the dividend and this is the divisor and this is the remainder. So here in this example we are taking dividend and the remainder both the same. Okay so now this is the divisor. Okay so here it will start with current equals 0. So it is very important that we need to note that it starts with 0. Now while it is true, so we will start with the length divisor length that means it is 4, divided length is 4 that is less than 0, 1, 2, 3. So totally 4 times it is called. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so current is 0. So now this is the current is 0, current is 0, i is 0. So then current is 0, i is 0, divisor is 0. So what is the remainder 0? Remainder 0 is 1. This one. And then divisor 0. Divisor 0 is this one. So 1 is place. 1 XOR 1 is 0. So remainder is 0. So this is the new remainder we are getting. Okay, now it will check, it will check this, the, uh, it will run this for loop and then it will come to this while loop. So we, we need to go, go with i is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. So next current is equal to 0, i is equal to 1. So same thing, i is remainder of 1, we, can, we look for this and divisor of 1 that is 0. So it is 1, 0. So it becomes 1. So remainder is 1. So next we have z current is equal to 0, this is 2 and this is 2, this is 2 and we have the next one. 
Now, when we reach the third one, when i is equal to zero, so this is the the current it comes out of this loop. So after the remainder length, this this is a, a remainder. After this one loop of a divisor, uh, we have this as a remainder. So now um, here in this case we have current equals zero and it is not equal to ten. So this is zero. That is right. This is zero. This becomes zero. That is right. And it increments by one. Okay. Next. So if current is equal to one. This is one. And its i is equal to zero. This i is equal to zero. So it will zero one two three. And the new remainder is formed. So remainder one is zero. Okay. So it zero is zero, and it becomes one. So now. It becomes two. That is one. Now this is three. This is two. Now it becomes three. If this is three and the remainder value is four, so this is zero, one, two, three, four. That is the new remainder we are getting. So the this loop is over. The one loop is over. Now it will come to the current. So it will check the is the current of is equal to zero. Yes, current is. Current is one. Current is one. So is one. This is zero. One. One is zero. Yes, two. So increment by one. So it becomes two. Okay. So now this is the new remainder. We bring the remaining things, remaining bits here. Okay. So now this is current equals two. So this becomes zero, zero, zero. Because it is two. Zero, one. Two, so it is two. Current equals two. Remainder it starts with two. So now uh, this is i. This i. This i is zero. Okay. Now so we have one, two, three. So it reaches three. Then this loop is over. So now remainder of five is remainder of five zero. Yes, remainder of five zero one two three four five. So now increment by one. This becomes zero. So now increment again. Two, three. So now we when we do this when we do this here when we when we increment this is the new remainder that is being formed. And now when the new remainder is being formed, you have remainder of current equals zero. When the remainder of current equals zero, then what is the current? Current is three. That means zero, one, two, three. This is zero. This remainder of current is zero. Now again increment this, so it becomes four. Again it is zero. So again incremented. So it, it when it increments, it reaches five because it is in a while loop. So we are finding zeros here. So one, two, three, four, five. They are five times zero. So it becomes five here. So when we when we reach a six, when it reaches six, six one is not zero. So it will come out of this loop and it will take this current five and it will place here and do the same calculation again. Five. So we bring so i is i is incremented one, two, three. So incremented eight is equal to this remainder is equal to eight that is equal to one. So you get one here and you bring the remainder zero zero. So we look for all these condition, it will become false, and the remainder is hundred. Remainder is hundred. Now this is the remainder that is nothing but CRC code. That you see that is CRC code. So now we need to add that CRC code, add that CRC to code to the message. So we need to add it. Now at the receiver end, at the receiver and error detection. So we need to again divide the message that is sent with the polynomial. Okay, so that part is done. So thank you very much.